let's first talk about the types of prescriptions that you may encounter. First of all, we have our time critical scheduled medications. So what are some examples of time critical medications? These can include antibiotics, anticoagulants, as well as insulin. So for these time critical medications, we need to give them within 30 minutes of the scheduled time. So they can be up to 30 minutes early or 30 minutes late, but it has to fall in that window. All right, next let's talk about our non-time critical scheduled medications. So for medications that are scheduled daily, weekly, or monthly, we can give those within two hours of the scheduled time. However, if the uh, medication is prescribed more frequently, so twice a day, which is BID, or three times a day, which is TID, then we need to give those within one hour of the scheduled time. And again, every facility will have its own policy, so definitely follow your facility's guidelines on when you need to um, give different medications for your patients. Then we have our one-time or single-dose prescription. This is where you give the medication once at a specified time. And then a stat order means that you're going to give that medication once immediately. And then we have our PRN or as-needed prescriptions. PRN uh, prescriptions include the dose, frequency, and under what circumstances you can give the medication. So the most common PRN medications include pain medications and nausea medications. Then finally, we have what's called standing orders. Standing orders are pre-written medication orders that can be given for defined circumstances on a particular unit. So for example, there are often standing orders for hypoglycemia. So if your patient experiences hypoglycemia, you can refer to those standing orders and get them glucagon like right away. Um, that way you don't have to like call the doctor and wait for them to call you back. And in the meantime, your patient is, um, you know, dying from a hypoglycemic coma. So that's why we have standing orders in place. Another example of a standing order um, set may be for chest pain so that you can um, automatically give nitroglycerin to your patient who is having chest pain. So those are just some, some examples of standing orders that I've seen at my hospital.